Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Education Matters. We're here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning to you. So tomorrow, Michigan is following new COVID-19 guidelines, and that impacts athletes and high school students. So how can parents help their kids through this transition as cases rise? Well, it's another, yet another curveball thrown at all parents and educators, and most of all, our students. And as you've identified, specifically high school students, it's tough. I mean, the COVID-19 numbers are rising. These restrictions are pretty, being put in place for our safety, and it is directly impacting educational systems and putting a strain, strain on everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so it's for three weeks, and it's tough to go backwards, but I'm going to take a, a hint from my wife. She suggested that I, I really strike a theme of hope in this segment, and I appreciate her wisdom. She was a guidance counselor for two decades, and she can see the bigger picture. So that's what I'm going to try and take her suggestion. Okay. Three key points I would offer today, Veronica. First, leaders at all levels have planned for this possibility. They were not hopeful this would happen, but they were planning in the event it would happen. Mm -hmm. All the plans have had stages. Michigan has been languished in phase four for the past six months. Seems like a distant memory, but we were so close to going to phase five early in the summer, weren't we? Didn't quite get there. And now we regress as the second wave of the virus is upon us. Well, there are plans for that too. To avoid going back to a phase three, the advice is to cut back on indoor activities for three weeks now as the cold sets in. This is a plan that medical experts feel may avoid another stay home, stay safe, massive shutdown. Mm -hmm. It is hopeful and it has a chance of working. Second, all indications, and you've been great about reporting this, all indications is science is very close to a couple of different vaccines. The vaccines have early signs of effectiveness and safety. Once this vaccine is approved, whatever form, and distributed, it will help ward off this virus and perhaps getting us back to flatter curves and closer to phase five and ultimately phase six with more norm normalcies. This is indeed hopeful. And then finally, research shows us that if we have a positive attitude about these dips, these regressions, our physical and mental health improves. Our outlook is better. Students see this as they watch us as adults, and they in turn become stronger and more resilient. Learning will continue, and once we return to normal, activities and lifestyles, students will be able to return to pre-COVID choices. It's tough right now, none of us are happy, and the pandemic seems to have an upper hand in the short run, but it is indeed temporary. Like Jones suggested to me, it is hopeful that we just stay the course and weather the storm, and my best wishes to all students, parents, and educators as we hopefully flatten the curve and pull back out of this dip. I love that. Try to stay positive and keep the hope alive. Thank you again, Dr. Douglas. Take care. Stay safe. You as well. And for more information about today's topic, you can check out the school source page on WNEM.com.